Hi, this is Patty Miner coming to you from my backyard. <laughs> um, today, you know, I rarely do a business post, and today I wanted to talk about network marketing or uh, working from your home or work from phone. So you can work from home, work from phone. That means you could work anywhere in the world, halfway across the globe, in your backyard, down the street. You can work from anywhere. But the key thing here, because many people own their own businesses and many people are in network marketing companies, and you need to realize there's a few things. That's what I do, and uh, I train people how to do that themselves, to how to be able to be independent. And it's really exciting to be able to work from anywhere. But the key word is work. You don't just open your own business and then just hire a bunch of people and think you don't have anything to do or you don't start a network marketing business and then figure, okay, I should be a millionaire in 10 months and I didn't do a thing. No, you do work. You schedule your time to work and you take time to do the things. You are gonna be your boss. You are your own boss, so be a good boss. Outline the things that you need to do to succeed. First, find out what you need to do to succeed in your particular field. There's a million things on the internet teaching you every aspect of everything. So you can find the line of critical path that you need to follow for success. You can succeed in anything if you put your mind to it. And it only takes five years to get good at anything. You can get good at anything in five years. That's how long it takes to get a degree from college. So if you study and learn and keep growing in whatever field you choose, and there's an airplane in the back, then you're gonna get good at it no matter what you do. Um, I really, truly, truly believe that. I started tennis when I was 50. I started oil painting when I was 55. I start new projects all the time when I get excited about songwriting or whatever. So I, I think anybody can learn anything if you put your mind to it. If you believe you can do it, you can achieve it. So, um, but the most important thing is work. Uh, like in network marketing, if you, you need to make real friends and feel real needs. Like as you communicate with your real friends, even if you found them on Facebook or if you found them in a grocery store or if you found them on a cruise ship, it doesn't matter where you find your friends, that we're friend collectors. You collect friends and you make real, true, live friends. They're really good people. And you connect with people who you have the same interests in. Perhaps you like tennis or perhaps you like oil painting or perhaps you like pageants. Whatever it is that I've just mentioned a few that I like, but perhaps you like book reading. Perhaps you like to try new restaurants. Whatever it is that you're interested in, you find friends, real friends that are also interested in bird watching or whatever, collecting Jeeps. I mean, whatever it is, pets. Some people just love, I love puppy dogs, but I'm just, everybody loves something. And whatever you love, you collect the friends that love the same things you do. Then eventually, when your real conversation gets around to the point where they might need your service or your product or your new business that you started or your network marketing products, then you bring it up and you tell them, oh my goodness, I could help you with that. Perhaps this would be fabulous for you. They can try it. You have to honor their free agency. Some will, some won't, some wait, some watch, um, some try it and quit, and some quit and come back. So everybody's a little different. It's kind of like the parable of the sower in the Bible. They have the parable of the sower. It's like the law of averages. He's got some good seeds, which is the company that you have, or the product or the business that you're in. You have real good seeds. And he had really good seeds, and he'd, he'd, he'd go and put the good seeds. People would hire him to come and plant their crops. And so he would come and plant the seeds. Some fell upon the dry ground and scorched and got scorched by the sun. Maybe you planted a good seed in their heart with a, a great product. And their friends came along and said, oh, that's stupid, that's dumb. Or they looked on the internet and something on the internet said that was stupid, that was dumb. And of course, you can believe everything on the internet, right? <laughs> so, so I wouldn't trust everything on the internet. But you know, um, you have to find the truth 
from the real product people <laughs> before because there's always people that are going to say it's a scam it's stupid it's dumb there's always something that's going to be negative you need to find truth from the actual product people so they will have the true answers the truth and maybe even a third party so anyway this sower in the parable of the sower has the good seeds so some of the seeds passed along the wayside and sometimes the birds got them so somebody comes along and the birds got them and so they took them to some other place you know maybe they joined another company or they tried another product or they did something they found something in a store or online for whatever and you just have to honor and respect their free agency because they still should be your friends and it's okay I buy my orange juice might be a different brand than my girlfriend's orange juice but it's okay <laughs> so it doesn't matter we need a lot of things so it's okay everybody can uh, it's wonderful when you can support your friends and family with their businesses and order the products you're going to be ordering anyway from them so you know that would be wonderful but so be it if they find another something that's more important or better to them if you have a strong testimony in your heart that your product is wonderful I do I feel like we have the best anti-aging product on the planet so if you feel really strong about it, nobody can talk you out of that. If you have hundreds of testimonials around you, you know that it's worked for you, you know it works, don't be swayed or frustrated or disappointed when people don't expect everybody to believe you or don't expect everybody to try your product and don't expect everybody to agree with you because they won't and it's okay it's okay because everyone has their free agency so don't worry about it just keep planting those seeds the nice thing in the parable of the sower he just kept planting he they say that over and over and over again in the parable of the sower he kept on planting you keep on planting seeds and planting seeds and following through and following through if somebody uh, gives you their email or their cell or their Facebook or whatever, you follow through with them. You give them the information they want. You, what If they're asking you questions, you find out the answers to those questions for your products. You're following through all the time and you spend time following through with people on a daily basis. It has to be regular, 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 daily, daily, daily. You're always working. You might decide to work from 10 to 12 this day because in the afternoon you're going to go do something with your family. And maybe tomorrow you're going to work at night because in the morning you have a, something else to do. So you can choose your hours when you work for yourself and you can choose your hours when you work at home or from phone. Uh, but you need to work. You need to actually schedule those two hours. Every time you work, you should learn something new about your product, service, uh, something you should learn. You should learn something and then you should follow through. You should have a little breakdown of what you need to do. Who do you need to talk to? Who do you need to follow through with? What do you need to learn about your products and services? How do you want to advertise that? Every single thing that you need to do for your business, you need to schedule that time every single day that you do it for you to be successful because it takes time. If you own a restaurant, you better love to cook because you're going to be able to, you're going to have to go back there and probably be every single job. You'll probably have to wash the dishes. You'll probably have to cook the food. You'll probably have to uh, decorate the building. I mean, whatever you own, you're going to, the buck stops here. You have to fulfill the orders you have to do. If you're going to have your own clothing line, you better have a stock of the clothing that you need and be prepared to fill all those orders every single day and check it and check it and check it. So whatever product or service or something that you want to do from home and, and any talent, it should be something that you love, something that you have a passion for. Because that way, um, you know, I have a passion for health because I want to be healthy. I want to, I, I do not want to age uh, great. I want to age, I want to push age away. I don't want to age at all. And so, I mean, for me, health is really important. And so I studied that Eastern medicine is more, they treat more like the body like a garden like they water it and you plant seeds and it fertilizes and it grows and Western medicine they treat it more like a machine where they cut it out or fix it or MacGyver it or whatever and I think there's a good mix with both of those I think you need both of those and and you need to be able to find out what's good for your body and that's in the health division division because I love health but I but I love oil painting I love music and songwriting I love uh, 
I love tennis, I love all of these things. And in all of these things in life, you can choose something that you love, that you're passionate about, that you just love so much, and then make that your career, make that life yours. If you already have a career and a job that you do need to stay with, then do that as a hobby on the side and perhaps you can earn money with it. And think about that. You just need to put in the hours and work. You can work from phone or you can work from home. So I hope these are helpful principles for you and, um, and I'll do some more series in a, in a few, few more days. See you, bye.